In the previous video, we talked about shells, subshells, and orbitals in brief. But we did get, you know, we did talk a bit more about the shells, okay? We learned that the farther the electron gets away from the nucleus, the more energetic it gets, okay? In other words, you know, different, you know, the farther away, the shells have more and more energy, okay? And we saw that we can represent the energy levels or the shells using the principal quantum number, you know, like this, you know, n equals one, two, and so on, okay? And now in this video, let us talk a bit more about subshells, okay? And there's, it is, it is pretty interesting because it's kind of like, you know, yeah, a bit nice, okay? <laughs> anyway, let me give, you know, let me try to, you know, make you understand with an analogy again. Okay, let us keep on going with this neighborhood house thing, you know, analogy. Okay, okay. Now, imagine these are the shells, okay. I'm just gonna draw a couple of lines represent, representing the shells, okay. Okay, so, okay, cool, cool. This is the nucleus, okay. This is the nucleus and shells are going in this direction, okay. This is farther and farther away, okay. Cool, okay. Now, the interesting thing about shells and subshells are that the you know more you the farther you get away you know the no, the 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 more the you know n n the number of n increases okay the more types of subshells gets introduced okay okay let me repeat that again the farther you get away from the nucleus that also means that the more the num the value of n increases, the principal quantum number increases, the more types of subshells gets introduced. Okay, now coming to the analogy. Okay, let us understand the thing. Okay, these are one, two, three shell. Okay, n n equals three. Okay, let me write that. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, now let us imagine that the first shell. Now, you know the shell was the neighborhood, right? So the first neighborhood. It has one type of house, okay? One type of house. This is the my best attempt at drawing a house, okay? Okay, has one house, one type of house, mind that, okay? The second shell will have that type of house, okay? Not the exact house, but that type of house, plus one other house, one other type of house, which is bigger than the other, okay? One bigger than the other, okay? All right, cool. And the third shell will have both of these type, okay, type of house, all right, cool. And, okay, let me draw the other one too, okay, all right, very nice. And another one, more bigger, okay, bigger one, a bigger one. You know what that means? The bigger the houses get, the more rooms they have, okay? The more rooms they have. I've just drawn it for, you know, comparison, okay? The more rooms they have, okay? Right. And you know what that means? That means that, you know, the nearer <laughs> your, you are to the nucleus, the less number of electrons there are, okay? The farther you go, the more number of electrons, you know, yeah, make sense? Okay, very nice. Now, you know these houses, these houses represent our subshells, okay? These are subshells, okay? These are types of subshells, okay? Different types of subshells. And now let us talk briefly about those types of subshells, okay? We have our S subshell, we have our P subshell, and B and F, okay? We're gonna end there. It increases infinitely, okay? It goes on G, H, I, but you know, that's for the complex stuff, okay? Let me give it a bit of space, okay? Okay, space, right, space. S, P, D, and F, okay, cool. Okay, you might be wondering, how did we get these SPDF? You know, it's not the Power Ranger SPD, okay? Chill out. Huh. How did we get to that? Interesting. Well, there is a correlation between the principal quantum number and the SPDF thing, okay? You see, there is something called an azimuthal quantum number, okay? Okay, let me write that down because it's you know, with a different color, I suppose, okay? 
एज ए मथल क्वांटम नंबर एज ए मथल क्वांटम नंबर क्यू एन ओके लेट मी राइट दैट क्यू एन ओके एज ए मथल इज ऑल इट इज आल्सो समटाइम्स नोन एज एंगुलर क्वांटम नंबर ओके एंड व्हाट दिस मींस दैट यू नो द एज ए मथल क्वांटम नंबर शोस हाउ मेनी टाइप्स ऑफ सब शेल्स वी कैन हैव ओके वी कैन हैव for a you know specific shell okay for a specific n value okay and okay i'll have to you know get a bit you know okay all right okay let me you know let me erase this spdf for now okay let me give you a brief about the azimuthal quantum number okay so okay so how this relates with the principal quantum number okay beautiful beautiful relation okay okay now for your information this is also represented as l okay this is an l okay now let's introduce some math here okay some math okay l equals okay l equals 0 to n minus 1 okay this is an interval okay if you don't know what intervals are check out my video on interval notations okay it might be linked here or somewhere you know okay well in what what this means is that it will range from 0 to n minus 1 where n is the principal quantum number here okay now let us let us take n equals 1 here okay okay when n equals 1 let me yeah let me yeah when n equals 1 okay i feel that this video is going to get a bit longer okay but bear with me i guess you know when n equals 1 l will be equal to equal to 0 comma n minus 1 but but you see n is already 1 so 1 minus 1 is 0 okay so 0 to 0 is 0 okay so there can be only one possible value of l now what about n equals 2 what about n equals 2 here you see l will equal to 0 comma 0 2 n minus 1 where n is the principal quantum number so n we have is 2 right so 2 minus 1 is 1 right so we can have possibly 2 okay okay this is a wrong wrong comma okay this 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 should be an equal sign okay two possible l's okay two possible l's and you get the point right if it, if the it if it was n equals 3 then it will go to you know 0 comma 1 comma 2 you know three possible l numbers right three possible n azimuthal quantum number now now you know what azimuthal quantum number is and how it relates to principal quantum number now let's let's get back to you know spdf stuff you know the power ranger stuff okay i think i just you know okay anyway spdf stuff okay so the spdf thing relates with the azimuthal quantum number here l okay when l equals 0 the subshell name will be s okay when l equals 1 the subshell name will be p when l equals 2 equal you know it will be d okay when l okay just you know i'm lazy you know when l equals 3 the subshell name will be f and so on right so that's how we get the spdf names okay now there is a very you know interesting story about how it got here how it got exactly spdf maybe you should google that you know it's interesting to see how these stuff gets you know you know gets into invention i guess you know yeah so spdf now if you come back okay i shit all right if you come back to the you know neighborhood analogy you can see that you know here we have only zero okay zero here is in this shell there is l equals only zero and this means we have we have our yes yes s subshell okay these blue houses are s subshells okay s subshells okay s subshells here also it is blue the same type of hair uh, you know subshells right here we have you know we can have zero okay it will range you know forever until you know n minus 1 okay here also we have s right now what about p okay what about p we saw that when l equals 1 the subshell name is p 
here we have L equals 1 comma 1. Right? Sorry, 0 comma 1. That means two possible azimuthal quantum numbers. And when L equals 1, we have our P subshell. So here the greenhouses are the P subshells. And then for this yellow orange house, you know, use your common sense. This will be obviously our D subshell. Okay, this is our D subshell and it goes on forever. Right. So yeah, I think that that's it, I guess, you know. No. Remember that these, you know, subshells have different capacity for you know electrons right because they have different number of rooms you know the you know the larger the larger I'll, I'll give you a brief on that in the next video and about orbitals the larger the l gets the more types of you know orbitals are introduced yeah the more types of orbitals means more room for the electrons right more room for the electrons all right so yeah in conclusion, the farther you go away from the nucleus, the more types of subshells you get. In other words, the higher the value of n, the principal quantum number is, the higher types of subshells, the higher the number of the azimuthal quantum number. Okay, I think it makes sense. I encourage you to you know, take a pause here and try, you know, give it a try about what what will be the azimuthal quantum number, you know, possible azimuthal quantum numbers for, you know, n, say n equals 5, 6, and, you know, and so on. No, try this out and, you know, try to understand what, how this, you know, SPDF correlates with this, how the principal quantum number, you know, relates with azimuthal quantum number, yeah? So, yeah, these relations are very important to understand in quantum mechanics, okay? I'll leave you here, all right? Good luck.